Yes folks, hello and welcome back to Relaxing Woodshop. Of course, my name is David. It is great to have you along with this one. Now, this one's a wee bit of a worry uh, because uh, with the, the lathe not being used for a while, and as you know, we record, edit and put it out on the same day, this is going to be just as new to us as it is to yourself using big old Betsy down in the corner here that we're going to bring out. Uh, so again, thank you all so much. It is great to have Morty back. Say hello, Morty. Morley? No, not, no, no, eating, eat, eating the nuts, right, okay. So, guys, uh, Morley's been doing bits and bobs around the shop. We don't know what he's been getting up to, but he's doing all sorts, so I don't know. So let, let's just put up with what he's doing. So, uh, we'll look forward to doing this. Let's get stuck right in. Yes, so our ingredients for today is the beautiful brass top that obviously sits on the handle of the, the walking stick. The wee brass ring that separates the two so you can actually screw this in to the top half and then this into the wood itself once it's turned. And then at the bottom you have then the wee um, nub or the, the, the base that helps when you're walking along so the wood doesn't get damaged as it goes through. And then of course the beautiful piece of wood itself. Now this is off um, the bits that were left over from a kitchen. So there was, so it's a beautiful, beautiful piece of wood. And because uh, with it being the length that it is and being made for a kitchen, you'll see there's a lot of uh, connections to it. So hopefully that will come out beautifully on it and hopefully it doesn't uh, affect the, the wood itself when we're turning it. So let's get going. So guys, good old fashioned way, get the circle. Now, as you can see, this is our center side. This is more of a rectangular type shape of wood and uh, the way it was cut. So this is gonna be a wee bit harder to get the center, but we'll get there. And then we'll turn it over and redo the process. Okay, folks, so we're all set up. <laughs> Fingers crossed. So the beam's in place. There will be a wee bit of wiggle room here and a bit of jiggling because A, it's more rectangular than it is square. B, Big Betsy hasn't been using a very long time. Fixed the motor, fixed all the running gears in here, tidied up the wiring in here. So let's just hope she runs smoothly. With regards to the sleeve, that's the bit that's going at the top, okay? So we need to make sure that our measurements are sitting at 22.4 now that's going to be quite hard when you're working with wood to get that that close so let's lock in 22.4 on the gauge and that will hopefully allow us to keep it that and then once we've done that we'll then do the bottom and again measure the the, the circumference uh diameter circumference which one uh around there and then we'll go with that now ideally when you're doing something of this length what i could have done was Drill two holes here and here, which would have took a wee bit of time, but drill two holes here and here. Got a larger piece of metal to run the length, so I have a perfectly smooth transition through the whole beam. But I would rather work on it step by step, just to see how I get on. So, without further ado, let's go. What we've done, we've got it right down, we've got our indentation done here, and we've got our indentation done here. What I want to do now is add a wee bit of uh, colour to it, so we'll get a nice stain here that we're going to stain onto it, just to push out that thing. And I'm, I'm happy with it, but I'm not, to be honest with the not being perfectly straight, it made it a lot harder. And actually looking up on YouTube, what you really should have is support in the center to stop it from vibrating. So what I was having to do was put my hand at the back and support it as it vibrated in and out. But we'll get there in the end. So let's put on a wee bit of coat. So we'll get my wee foam brush. Set it down here, dab it up. On with the machine. Right, 
look so moment of truth for the, the, the bottom part of it. So that is our sleeve. Let's see how we get on. Wait. Fantastic. That's the bottom bit all good. Now, the top bit. So first of all, we're going to cut off the larger bit at the end of the stick that was being held in the lathe, and then we'll work our way up. So let's do the bottom bit first. Right, okay, so that's that now in. Moment of truth. Voila! I like to see it at the end. Morning. What is this string doing here? Oh, I need a walking stick after that. That was absolutely painful, so it was. But anyway, so there we go. Does not look, look lovely? So it does. It's a wee bit thick here compared to the rest of it, but I think it's lovely with the curve in, that meeting it perfectly, and you can see that there. And then of course this meeting perfectly there. But a lovely wee feature to this, if I do this and unscrew, I don't know if you can see this, but I'll move, zoom in, a wee compass. So if you're out walking in what we've classified as the morns in this part of the world, uh, that'll help you head north, wherever north would take you. But there you go. So absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll look forward to seeing you next week on the Relaxing Woodshop. Take care.